Hey guys, Noah here. I've had myself a rather productive day, and it is the start of this vlog, and we were gonna continue with this productive day of ours. I woke up, had a couple calls, had an audition, had a callback for an audition, went to the gym before all of that. I like to start my day off with the gym, and now I'm gonna go see a friend of mine, Tyler. If you guys don't know Tyler, you don't know him. That's totally fine, but he's a hometown friend of mine who is never in LA anymore. So he leaves tonight, so I'm gonna go spend some time with him and my boy Tuck while we're here. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but you guys are coming along. Sorry you missed out on this busy morning. I kinda needed to like be prepared and like focus. But now you're stuck with me the rest of the day. Let's go hang, let's go do whatever we gotta do. Training. I don't want to box it into either weightlifting or running, but they do both, which is cool. Damn, they plugged it. Shout out the boys for real. Blood. Big plugs. Love it. Shout out you boys. It's one of my favorite parts about the job, to be honest, is just the random stuff that gets sent. And it's like, uh, every day is Christmas. But I don't take it for granted. I, it's a blessing. It's crazy. But they're also the boys, so it's not just like a random brand, you know? But I have been getting more into like hybrid training. I, I'm really getting into running. I don't know how I haven't before um, coming from like my soccer background. I, don't, I think I just was running like my whole life where I just didn't want to do it without a ball on my foot, so. But I think getting in like a group of people that are like like-minded, that will, like like little run groups, I know it sounds like, I don't know how it sounds, but to me at first I was like, eh, still running, you know? But like literally having a friend or two that enjoys running as well, or even a group, there's probably run groups all over your neighborhood that you don't even know about. I like doing it really in the morning, you feel good the rest of the day. And then training, like working out is obviously still a big part of my life. Speaking of, I'm gonna go play paddle right now. Paddle with uh, David and some of the aloe guys. I'm gonna see if I can bring you guys along. Let's go. have myself a lovely time playing paddle. I'm getting better, it's so fun. I didn't grow, really grow up playing a racket sport, so that means what I did grow up playing doesn't really translate. However, like, I pick it up pretty easily. Not easily, quickly, I would say. I pick it up quickly. Does not mean I'm near the level that some of them are. They're very good players, um, but it's fun. Burn like a thousand calories, <laughs> say less. I'm about to cook myself some food. Before I do so, I wanna do address a few things. No, you don't wash your right. Shut up. Yes, I wash my rice. That was like the most commented thing on my last video. Just because it's not in the video does not mean that I, like, I don't show you proof that I'm in the shower, like me naked in the shower. Did I take a shower? I did. Did I not film it? I did it. Same thing goes here with the rice, but it's okay. I, I appreciate you guys, some of you, for calling it out in a very kind regard. My friend Vinny actually put me on to like washing the rice first. It's not like I did it before, I just never had a rice maker. He was like, I'm gonna send you this link to this rice maker, but make sure you wash the rice before it just, 
it, it does it. And I was like, okay, amazing. So that was engraved in here. But now it's even more ingrained because of you guys calling it out. Shout out you guys for being annoying. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, that was that was funny. That was like the top commented thing. Also, random thought because it was the last song I listened to in the car. Glue Myself <laughs> Shut by Noah Khan. Oh my God. You never asked once. No, you never asked why. That song can just be injected into my veins. I love that song. It just scratches my brain a little. It's so good. I'm gonna make some dinner. Are you guys excited for that? I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm very hungry. But let's shower first because I feel like it's gonna feel so good showering, fitting clean, and then coming down here and making food. It's like a reward. You guys know me. I love a reward. I love like earning things. That sounds like so psychotic to probably some of you being like hey, this guy just doesn't do anything because it makes him feel good i do it because it's a reward and because i've earned it hashtag imposter syndrome love it even for <laughs> even for food i don't even think that's a thing but yeah nevertheless i need to clean my house a little but first things first shower gonna feel clean it's kind of an early it's early right now which is kind of nice well it's 7 30 which is like exactly where i want to be at 7 30 i want to be home about to be showered by 7.45, making food by 7.46. And yeah, that's gonna be a nice night. And then hopefully food on a plate by 8.05, 8.10, watching a show and just calling it a night. I actually wish it was a little earlier, but that just can't be chooser, let's go shower. Protein, a little bit of egg, which is protein. So I'm gonna do egg, meat. I got bananas, and I have potatoes. I'll probably do egg, meat, potato, and like a little bit of sharp cheddar on the side. What do we think? Does that sound ridiculous? Don't care, because it sounds delicious to me. All right, let's get after it. The brain.
last vlog how I was saying like, there's no way four tablespoons is one serving. I still stand on that. I have no clue. I've been doing like two scoops for like this amount and just like, it's really good though. So I might do a full serving today, which is four scoops of tablespoons, four tablespoons, I guess. Honestly, I'm like, I've been ripping like three. It just doesn't seem right, you know? I don't know, something about it just throws me. But I might go ahead and do three and a half. It just seems like a lot of powder, you know? It's so good. And it's a lot of water to be fair, so it's a lot to like flavor, if you will, I don't know. But this hits, like it actually tastes like dessert. So drinking this with dinner, knowing that it's healthy, it's like I'm having like a healthy chocolate milk. It's the best. They're crisp and I, feel, I hear them. I'm gonna give them a look. Oh, absolutely. These look insane. having that big savory meal. What did I end up having? I had ground beef, potatoes, eggs, and sharp cheddar cheese. The rest grass fed, which is nice. I'm not on like any strict diet. I've always tried to eat somewhat healthy and then save room for being human, of course. I try to keep like 80-20, like that rule. But then now, nowadays I'm trying to lean more towards like just eating whole food. Cause I'm not really carnivore and I'm not like paleo. I don't know. There's like a few things. I don't, I just try to eat what I feel good eating and like I feel the best when I have like whole foods like I feel good I, I just ate a whole dinner it was a pretty big dinner and like I feel hungry like I feel good like like my body like took it really well so that's a good feeling but I have a sweet tooth I have a crazy sweet tooth and it's actually the biggest problem because I can eat healthy with food all day long like I could go the rest of my life without eating a greasy cheeseburger or pizza or pasta to be honest which is actually kind of crazy but like, if you put a dessert in front of me, it's game over for that dessert. Like, it's so bad to the point where I will push through the stomach ache knowing that like, it's gonna hurt. Self-control just goes out the window as soon as I see some kind of like, like chocolate, candy, you name it. If it's like a, like an apple pie, fuck out of here, I could care less. Chocolate, oh, like tiramisu, oh, like anything, like any kind of like proper dessert like that, this kills me. But I found a healthy alternative. <laughs> All that led to this. This right here is a very healthy alternative that kind of honestly just it satisfies that sweet tooth of mine. Chobani Greek yogurt. Amazing for you. Literally passes all the tests of like apps like the Yucca app where you scan it and it tells you if it's good for you. It is yogurt's amazing for you. It's great. Yogurt. Chia seeds sprinkled on. That's just for like fiber and a little bit of protein. That's not like mm, yummy chia. No. Walnuts. Again, one of those things that's just like another good little like topping and you get like that crunch from the walnuts but very good for you like i saw something recently that said it's like this nutritionist that was saying like if there was one nut you could have for the rest of your life what would it be and they said that like walnut is scientifically like the best nut for you so you know me i went to the store and got walnuts some really good walnuts and then a little drizzle you guys can't really see it because it's like on the side for some reason organic maple syrup just a little bit of it. Like, I, it's just a little, like, hint of sweetness. It's my substitute for ice cream. Obviously, ice cream. Like, a half-baked Ben & Jerry's right now. Oh, I'd cry. Sounds so good. But, you eat this, you don't regret it, you go to bed feeling like, wow, yeah, good. There's my rant. I just wanted to explain why I made myself a little a little dessert. While it is 9.20, I'm going to continue to watch this show real quick, and then I'm going to head up to bed, try to be in bed by 9.45, 10. It's been a good day. My nose itches. I'm sorry. I know you guys probably... <laughs> What's wrong with his nose? I'm gonna turn the lights off and we're gonna watch the rest of this show. Cozy. Pretty, not that busy of a day actually. I have a call 
at 10 a.m. I have a meeting, in-person meeting uh, in Larchmont. I'm going to get brunch with like a general meeting at 11.30. Then I have a call right after that. Then I'm gonna go meet up with Anna at like some kind of shop and just crank out some work. And then uh, I'm working out again at Aloe with David. David won't do earlier times. Like he won't do mornings. So I have to accommodate. So I just end up doing doubles. I do that pretty much anyway. I've mentioned it before, but I don't think, if you haven't seen other videos, first thing I like to do in the morning, I'll wake up and I'll come down here, pour about eyeball, I don't know how many ounces that is, uh, of water, and then I'll put some, uh, like, this, like, no BS uh, electrolytes in it, and it's strawberry banana flavored, and it's really good. Strawberry lemonade, actually. And it's just like a nice little, like, sweet reward in the morning for waking up. <laughs> I'm very active. I run and work out a lot, so it prevents like headaches, cramping. Just gives you a nice little boost of, I don't even wanna say energy, cause I don't know if that's what it does. I'll look more into it. I'm going right now to the gym, just before that 9 a.m. call. Like to start my days, active. All right guys, just got done with the workout. Gonna, or hit a little pull day. Ran to the gym, did a little back and by. Gonna go shower and get ready for the day and those meetings that I told you guys about. Hello everyone, just finished my coffee meeting. I'm sitting at a red light right now. Oh, it is green. Yeah, it went really well. Lovely lady. And now on to another kind of coffee meeting, I guess. It's 1.40 p.m. So it's like, I guess we could grab some food, I guess. Um, but yeah, probably gonna be my last coffee of the day. But out and about, feeling productive. After that, like I said, we're doing leg day today with David. No real updates, to be honest. After the meeting, I kind of did like, took a call and walked around the beautiful little Larchmont area. Larchmont is so cute. If you come to LA, go to Larchmont Village. It's really cute. It's a bit more on the east side, but not as east as Silver Lake or like Los Feliz, but good vibes, very good vibes. My manager actually lives out there and tries to get me over there all the time. All is good in, in Noah's world right now. All is good. From the ground, let you know that I'm always around. Cause I know Alrighty, just got home from Couple meetings, I'm about to pee myself. Do you guys mind if I pee real quick? Imagine I just started peeing. Okay, let me pee real quick and then we'll catch up. Thank you for waiting. Just got done with the meetings, productive day, had a couple calls in between, you know, just really, really cranked it out today. That being said, I haven't had a whole lot of time to like sit down and breathe and like go through like my phone and like messages and like, haven't been a good influencer today. Other than vlogging the whole thing, which is nice, um, but I haven't really like checked any socials, which has kind of been nice. But look what is here waiting for me. I got a new special addition to the house or to my room at least. Um, I wanna show you without these dirty clothes being here. Let me get rid of these for you guys so you get the full full effect of what we got going. I'll put these on the ground. Okay, let me flip it. Okay, and no, this is not a full room tour just yet, but just showing you the yarn balls. A lot of you guys have been asking about those. They're super comfy and soft, but yeah, they're great. They're just a nice little addition to the love my bed. I just wanna freaking sleep right now. Slatted wood. This isn't a room tour, I don't know what I'm doing. But that shade used to be temporary, but now it's covered. But then, bam! My new Togo couch came in. It's full leather. Ignore the dirty window, like right there. Ignore that. I will get someone to clean that, or I will go outside and get on a thing myself. <laughs> but look at her. She looks nice, no? Give you the full effect over here. She kind of just pulls it all together. I felt like there was something missing over there. Like, I love my room, don't get me wrong. But I could, it could be a little crowded, but it also feels naked if it's not there. So I'm like, I'm not an interior designer, I don't know much about this, but I'm just like, it's gut feeling, right? Like, this basically looks like the Pinterest board that I had. They've done so well here. I feel like my inspo, they've really knocked it out. I've, I knew exactly what I wanted for the most part. I'm really liking it right there. I actually did not know it was coming today, so that was a pleasant surprise. Wow, very nice though. And it's like, this thing's sturdy. This is not like a, it's not a cheap one. I'm a little worried about the lighting, the, the sun hitting the, the leather constantly. But I think we can play with it. I think I can just 
I don't want to keep the blinds closed because I do like the sunlight. But anyone want to do some research for me and see if leather can get sun damage? I feel stupid asking that. I feel like that, that's a gimme. I feel like that's definitely what's going to happen. But for now, it's nice. And then I can slide it and watch TV, even though I do that down the street. I don't know. A lot of things to play with here, but I'm, I'm loving it. It was a pleasant surprise when I walked back into my room and saw that there. It's nice. She's beautiful. Born to try Get off me. <laughs> Imagine if he's a look. Can you see him from over here? No, you can't. Lucky. Or oh, I'm unlucky. Let's go shower. Me, not you. Whoa, I didn't know I was recording. Hey. When you feel like there's too much on your plate.